how is the financial crisis hitting Nigeria in particular? Well, in the case of Nigeria, I guess the major impact has been on the uh, price of oil and, the associated and that's been transmitted really in a sharp decline in government revenues as well as foreign exchange earnings. The Prime Minister Gordon Brown was talking about, I think, the need to re-establish trust in terms of, of trade, international trade. Mm -hmm. Is that something you see particularly important? I believe it's uh, very, very critical because, as you know, there has not been much progress in concluding the trade negotiations around the Doha round. And the risks that this global crisis poses is that for many countries, basically, there's growing pressure, if you like, populist or political pressure now to um, re re revert back to protectionism and uh, more inward-oriented uh, policies and, and uh, some subsidy, subsidization that cannot be afforded. And, and it's in this context that I think that we need to really do everything possible to ensure that uh, the, the trade, uh, trade facilitation measures are taken and we have some agreements in place that would help boost, big, boost uh, the world trade and global demand in that regard. Protectionism, sorry, protectionism is something you see as a particular problem or threat. The people sort of think, right, if we protect our own trade, that will be a way out, but perhaps only for us. Yes, but you know, there are lots of issues. Basically, you'll end up protecting uh, inefficient industry. It does have its own costs, and of course, it also tends to evoke retaliatory measures from your trading partner. So, in the end, it's a no win situation, really. Uh, but typically, when we have these uh, uh, economic crises, I mean, the, uh, the tendency is for people to be advocating for more protectionism to protect our jobs, to uh, protect our industries, to shield us from uh, competition and stuff like that. Yeah. What do you think of Gordon Brown's proposal for a kind of global emergency fund? I think this is linked to possible reform of the IMF and mm -hmm. the World Bank. Yes. But, uh, what do you think of the possibilities, the chances of that coming together? Well, I think it makes sense <coughs> to really, if you consider the uh, if we weigh the benefits against the downside risks of not doing anything at this time, not providing this thing, and when things start uh, uh, collapsing in some of these countries, and, and uh, that of course includes, uh, if you like, it, has, it would have some political and social dimensions to it, then the cost of really salvaging the situation would be much higher than what it would entail if you started. There are clearly some countries that would need access to these kinds of resources and short-term basis to tide over emergency uh, emergencies. And if you have this window available, I think it will go a long way, a window that will allow quick disbursing funds that will be flexible, and rapid, uh, in the kind of uh, thing we're talking about outside the existing arrangement, outside the existing commitments that have been undertaken by the developed countries. At the G20, do you think there's going to be a collective African voice? in terms of saying, well, this is what the continent of Africa needs to help? Well, certainly we've made our case and we've been unanimous as you, we have been uh, coordinating this very closely in the last couple of months. Basically, we have a group of, uh, a committee of 10 persons, um, in the governors of the central bank and ministers of finance from across the African regions who have been coordinating this along with the uh, African multilateral uh, development institutions, including African Development Bank. And I think that uh, there is a consensus, and, and there is a strategic consensus in terms of um, the way forward for Africa. One, an appreciation certainly of the magnitude and intensity of the crisis and its impact on African countries, and the need to really enlist the support of uh, the developed countries. And there are very specific recommendations that have been put on the table for consideration of the G20 countries, which we all believe that would help uh, a long way in helping mitigate the impact of the crisis for African countries as well as laying the foundation for sustainable development.